Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we're back with the Oculus Quest because I've been looking for ways to extend the PC link feature. We've been using this anchor cable that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I think this was like an eight foot cable, which is all they had in stock at the moment. And I found that some of my PCs work with extension cables and some didn't. And I was really trying to find something that would work better to give me a little bit more than the eight feet that I got uh, with this anchor cable. Uh, if you want to have more background on this, I did a video on the PC link feature of the Quest, which I definitely suggest you check out. Now, after I did that video, a company called Cable Creation reached out to me with their active USB 3 extension cable. Uh, they told me that a lot of Oculus Quest users are using this and they were wondering if I wanted to do a review of it. So I said, sure, send one over. We'll take a look at it and see how it performs. Uh, this is using something called a retimer, uh, which will actively extend the signal uh, so you can go uh, much farther. And the cable they sent me uh, is 16.4 feet or 5 meters and costs about $15 here in the U.S. And we're going to be taking a closer look at how well this will perform as an Oculus Quest extension cable in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this was sent to the channel free of charge from cable creation. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this cable is all about. All right, so we're going to give this a shot now on my laptop. Now, remember, the uh, Oculus Quest requires a USB 3.0 connection, and the cable that your Quest comes with does not support that speed. So you still need to buy, even if you get this extension cable, some other con connection to make it all work. Again, the anchor cable that I have here has been working great for me when I'm directly plugged in, uh, but you will still need that if you buy this cable because as you can see, it's just gonna give you a female USB connection. So what I'm gonna do now is take uh, the cable creation uh, male end here and plug it into the side of my laptop, again, into a USB 3.0 uh, port there. Uh, we've got all this cable length now. I'm gonna take out the anchor cable and connect it to the end here and now I'm going to connect it up to the headset. And once I do that and I put the headset on, I will get the notification to go into link mode. So let me get this all set up and we'll see how well this setup is going to work with this extension cable. All right, so I loaded up Steam VR on the PC and I'm using the extension cable and everything seems to be working just fine here in PC link mode. Uh, so even though we've got a lot of cable here, probably almost 20 feet of cable when you combine my anchor cable and the extender here, uh, everything seems to be working fine. I'm not detecting any latency here as I'm moving my head around, nothing more than what you would normally get uh, in link mode. And uh, overall, I think we're off to a good start here uh, with this extender. So if you were looking for something to extend beyond whatever cable you're using in your link setup, I think this is going to work. It seems like it is running a stable connection uh, with no problems. Now I did test this a little bit earlier and in that testing, what I noticed here was that um, I wasn't getting a charge out to the headset, at least a full charge as it was running. So you'll probably see your headset uh, battery decline either at the same rate it would do standalone or maybe a little bit less than that. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you're gonna get enough uh, of amperage through the cable here to be able to charge it and use it in this way. Uh, but overall, it seems to be uh, working fine for a super long extension cable here. Uh, there's no additional power required for the cable, so that's a good thing. And again, you still need a link compatible USB to USB-C cable uh, to make this whole thing work. This is strictly an, ex an extension cable of your USB connection that will, again, require uh, whatever cable you're currently using for your PC link feature to work. But beyond that, looks like a good solution here. I'll keep playing around with this a little bit more and let you know if I run into any gotchas over the long term. But so far, so good with this one. And again, you can't beat the price here, about $15 or so for the 16-foot cable. I also tested it with some game controllers. No latency at all that I could detect, which surprised me because there is some degree of uh, active extension going on here with the retimer inside. Uh, so that worked fine. You could probably use it with hard drives. I did plug in a hard drive a little bit earlier. Uh, that did work, but I do get nervous when we start running hard drives through additional equipment. So if you don't need to extend the hard drive that far, I would not, but you could probably get it to work in a pinch 
I would just be cautious about that. Uh, mice and keyboards and some other stuff I plugged in also worked as you would expect. Uh, just note though that it has to be a USB 3.0 compatible device. It does not work with USB 2.0 devices. So if you have a USB 2 mouse or keyboard, that likely will not work here. Um, but other things that support the USB 3.0 standard will. And of course, it works great here with the Quest, which is a USB 3 device when you're using it in PC link mode. So check it out. Probably worth taking a look at if you want to get some extension to your Oculus Quest. And we'll keep looking around to see what else might be out there to accessorize our Quest setup here. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below and maybe some other things I should take a look at too. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.